Hello and welcome to the 37th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at handling resize events on your window when you have a view within your application. We'll be using the source code from the 33rd tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Whilst using SFML, you may have noticed if you resize the window, it just stretches the contents of the window basically. Using views, you can instead show more of the view, which we think is pretty darn cool. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. And what we're going to actually be doing is removing the code that creates and sets a view. We'll be leaving the sprite code as it is. So let's just run it so you can see what it looks like at the moment. We have our really big sprite, which you can't fully see. Didn't mean to maximize it, but you saw what happens when you resize the window. So if I resize it like this, it's, instead of showing more of the image, you'll, show, sh you'll still show the same amount, basically. It, it goes up to the nose, and if I do it, if I decrease the, the width of the window, still show the same amount, but it's just stretch. It just stretches it and squashes the contents, which generally doesn't look very good in a game. So to handle that, what we're going to do is, down here, I'm going to detect a window event. We've covered these in a pr uh, an early tutorial, pretty early now. Uh, colon, colon, resize. So this is called every time the window is resized. And in here, what we're going to be doing is create an area for the view, which will be the full size of the window, and that will be set to the window. So we're going to do SF float rect visible area. I'm going to put zero zero event dot size dot width event dot size dot height. So this basically just creates a rectangle, and that is starts at zero zero, aka the top left, and goes all the way down or goes all the way across to the end of the window screen application. Uh, which by default is 600, so if you resize it down to 300, it'll be 300, and the same principle applies for the height. And now what we do is window.setView as we have done before, um, but we do SF colon view, because at the moment this isn't a view, so we just have to make it a view, and we're going to put visible area. Now if we run our application, okay, so we have Crash Bandicoot, and if we resize it, instead of it stretching and the image becoming skewed, we just see more or less of the image depending on how we resize it. And as you can see, I'm resizing it quite big now, and I've resized it bigger than the width of the image, so I can just see more outside the image, which in our example, there isn't anything. So that is how you handle window resize events when you are using views. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at playing a sound effect. And as usual, thank you for watching. And I hope you have a great day and actually a great weekend as well. Not to say that I won't be creating videos on the weekend, but just in case you don't watch them. Hope you have a great weekend.